Tom, what about the name Doobie Brothers? From where does that name come? Uh-oh. Um, it comes from a guy named Keith, who used to live in the same house we, or rather I did and John Hartman did. This is way back when. And um, we didn't have a name. We were just playing uh, at clubs and up at the Chateau, and, and we didn't really have an official name. I think name. it was our first gig. And he came in the door, name. and he says, you ought to call yourselves the Doobie Brothers. And everybody said, that's a stupid name. And why would we do that? And, then it, and for no reason. But we oh. said, we'll use it tonight. <laughs> and we did use it that night, and we never stopped using it. So it just kept on going. You know, part of my job is to separate bullshine from brass tacks. <laughs> and I heard a story that somebody walked in, and the band was smoking something, <laughs> a doobie, and somebody said, you know, all smoking doobies or something. So you should call it Doobie Brothers. So can we put that down as strictly untrue? There's some semblance of truth in there, I think, possibly. Uh -huh, no. It was kind of like, you guys smoke so much right. pot, you should call yourselves the Doobie Brothers. Right. That's not a true story at all. All right, yeah. well, I'll write that down as uh, not a true story. Definitely, maybe. <laughs> well, well, John, uh, you joke that you're the, quote, new kid. Right. Uh, in the band, but pretty old new kid in terms of service to the band because my show you came in 1978. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, it's just, it's just one of those. But these guys, you know, when you're talking about the, the long train running, these guys had the train rolling just fine before I got there. <laughs> so I feel really fortunate that I got to, you know, become part of this. But it's been, gosh, some 38 years or something now. It's, it's, I mean, almost coming up on 40 almost, but I'm uh, the new guy. <laughs> I'm hoping not to get the same answer all the way around, but I'm going to go down the line, beginning with you, John. What's your favorite Doobie Brothers song? Okay, boy, that's a tough question. It's, that is a tough question. It, it will sound like I'm bragging on the band, but there's a lot of good songs. Um, I guess I kind of like, uh, I like South City Midnight Lady. That's a good song. One of Pat's songs. It's one of my favorites when we do play it. And Tom, what about you? That is a really hard question to answer simply because as a writer, we've written so many songs. And at any given period of time, you might be really into one song, and then the next week, maybe it'll be a different song. And um, I'll just throw this out there because it's, it's my safety catch. I can say this because I'm a blues nut. So <laughs> I wrote a song called Dark Eyed Cajun Woman, and I was really thrilled with how that came out. I, you know, it wasn't a chart top or anything like that, but it was a blues tune. It was a real blues tune, and the band was playing That's the true. blues. All right, Patrick. <laughs> Probably have more than one favorite. Um, I'll throw this out there just because it kind of makes sense. Um, we do listen to the music every every night, and I kind of it's sort of the anthem of the band. You know, it's like what we're all about. You know, we're, we you know I think we. We enjoy what we do. Um, we've, we we love playing music. I've loved it all. I've been playing music almost as long as I've been alive since I was a little kid, and uh, here here I am still doing it. And that song is, you know, expresses that joy of sharing music and the great feeling that brings of of sh sharing it with really the world. I think that's the way Tom wrote it. You know, it was supposed to be you know an anthem of Let's bring everybody, all these guys, all these world leaders together, and uh, we'll sit out on a grassy knoll somewhere and, uh, you know, have bands playing. And this is during the Vietnam era. The, the idea was to get them, the world leaders to use music instead of language because language wasn't working. So. I'm going to say language wasn't working. Why not listen to the music and try it? Right. Yeah. Well, yeah. now I'll share something with you. I had guessed that listening to the music might be the favorite. One, you mentioned it's become an anthem for the band. It's actually become one of the best-known rock anthems uh, in the history of the genre. Well, we're very happy about that. <laughs> we don't have any complaints about that. It's kind of one of those, you know, we play it near the end of the set, and, uh, you know, you can look at people's eyes and the nostalgia. I mean, it was our first hit back in 72, yeah. I guess. So, you know, the people who have been following us for a long time and and people that remember at least the 70s uh you can see you know the connection there and in, the, in their eyes when we play the song 